Good morning, folks. You are looking at the latest from NOAA's Environmental Visualization Lab. This labeled image is derived from NASA's Earth Observatory and features the breadth of an Arabian sandstorm. Since the 6.2 and 7.0 earthquakes that kicked off the watch, the closest thing we've had to seismic news is the quieting of the Canary Islands. Only a few minor tremors yesterday, nothing of the magnitude we've seen in previous days. Weather today, focusing on severe threats. Imelda in the Indian Ocean is expected to break dead south towards Antarctica. Let's hope she does that soon. Closer to northwest Australian coastline, we have another cyclone, yet unnamed as of now, but also expected to head due south here. Based on pressure and precipitation, the only severe threat for you today is in northeastern Australia. Europe has quite a few weather watches as a result of this string of lows. Link to the meteor alarm is below. Left. You see the leading edge of the precipitation which promises a white April for parts of the US. The moisture is driven by a powerful counterclockwise driving low in the central states. The convergence is strengthened by a clockwise spinning high just north of that. Those opposing wind drives collide in the center, and I gotta think tonight's watch zone is bigger than that yellow area we just showed earlier. The US wind map updates hourly so. Check it after lunchtime along with your local warnings as tornadoes are expected tonight. We've gone more than 10 days without a gamma burst, finally got one yesterday out of the southern celestial sky. Flaring is holding in the low sea range and despite the lack of earth facing activity for months, and of course never hoping to see a mega X flare, I am very hopeful to get more M flares with this many sunspots peppering the disk. Now although CMEs from departing spots will miss earth, let's see if we can't get some of that flare energy as another spot leaves the earth kicking and screaming after acting like a lady the entire time she faced us. The big spot up top in the middle appears magnetically separated but if you look in the center you see some mixing starting at the southern portion. Just to the left of that, or the east on the sun, we have a discombobulated magnetic mess that is also holding his tongue for the moment, probably worth keeping an eye on the new guys as well. The umbral fields appear to strengthen in an earth-facing position. We do have the next set coming in behind, which appears black on the bottom left here. Even without coronal holes earth-facing, this quiet solar wind belies the power of the coronal hole stream that is set to impact earth, as usual, three to four days after the hole faces earth, and around the same time the moon is finishing up this string of conjunctions in a short time period. Now that's still two of the factors, still hoping to have a quiet second half of the watch. By the way, ain't she beautiful? Various shots of our star to close out, eyes open. No fear, it's 5.15 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.